Hello everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel The Informant. If you are new to this channel, let me just remind you that we make videos related to online services, education, placement drives and many more. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please do hit that red button so that you get latest notifications first on your screen. So our today's topic is about Accenture Primer Exam Pattern. So as many of you have already received your fundamental training modules that is primer modules and you are having many doubts that what will be the primer exam pattern, what will be its duration, then how to clear the primer exam, then what is techgenic training that is your mainstream training and will you get any bonus when you clear this primer exam. So you are having n number of doubts. So in this video, we will be clearing each and every doubt related to primer exam. So please stay tuned till the end so that you don't miss any important updates. So let's start our today's video. So as you can see here, there are series of steps. First one is primer, second is primer assessment, third is onwarding and fourth is techgenic training. So let's see in detail. So first one is primer, Pr primer nothing in the sense fundamental training. So many of you have already received the modules and these are self learning modules and you can learn at your own pace that is self phased modules. So the duration of these modules is five weeks. So I have already made a video on that. So I'll be giving the link in the description. You can check out the modules, what all courses you need to do and how many assessments, how many post quiz, pre quiz, hands on you need to complete. So each and everything I've discussed in that video, you can check out that video. So now assume you have completed this five week self paced module. So self learning module. So after completing this module, what next? So next is the primer assessment. So as you can clearly see over here, primer assessment will be of 20 marks and 30 minutes duration. So this will be a MCQ based assessment. There will be no hands on, no coding. So many candidates had this doubt whether we'll be having coding in the primer assessment. So it is actually a good news for all the candidates. You will be having simple 20 marks, 30 minutes MCQs. That too from the primer modules which you have studied. So it will be easy. You, if you have learned your primer module properly, then you can easily attain this primer assessment. Third is onboarding. So uh, once you complete your primer assessment, you'll be having your onboarding and next is techgenic training. So what is this techgenic training? Techgenic training is nothing but the stream training where you can choose a stream from the given options. In that you'll be getting particular training. So who knows after that you might get same projects as well. So we'll be discussing that in the further video. So you'll be having doubt. So what is the eligibility criteria? To clear this primer assessment so we'll be discussing this in the next slide so first of all as you can see primer assessment will be conducted for 20 marks and the duration is 30 minutes so this first point, first point is clear i hope so the score of primer assessment will be added with the scores of your stream assessment so this is very important so many of you had doubt that how much marks we need to secure to clear the primer assessment so here as you can see primer assessment alone will not be considered. You can see the image below here. Example, primer assessment is for 20 marks. So next you will be having your techgenic training right after your onboarding. So in that techgenic you will be having MCQs. Example say you will be having 4 MCQs of 20-20 marks each. So total they will add up all the marks. For example here 100 marks. So from this 100 marks you need to secure 60% for passing this primer exam. So I hope all of you got your doubts cleared. So primer exam which you will be having after your modules is not the only eligibility criteria to onboard into Accenture. So this is a good news that after if you do not perform well in primer exam, you will be having a chance that you can perform well in the techgenic exam. All of you will be onboarded after the primer exam. But there is another thing if you perform well in primer exam, there is a perk, there is an advantage for you. I will be discussing that in the later video. So the sum of primer and stream assessment scores will be considered as an outcome of your techgenic program that is TG. So for example, if techgenic stream has 4 MCQ assessments, if each has 20 marks, outcome of techgenic scores is equal to score in MCQ plus score in 4 MCQs of techgenic. So I hope you understood this clearly. So I hope this is clear. So let's go to the next slide. So reward for high performance. As I said, so completion of 100% of primer modules before primer assessment and a score of 75% or above in the primer assessment 
will make you eligible for a learning incentive of rupees 10000 INR post your onboarding so this is a good news so this is why you need to perform well in your primers because you'll be getting a 10k bonus so don't miss this opportunity Pro do well in your fundamental training read all the modules carefully understand it properly so that you can get 75% above in your primer exam and you'll be eligible for 10000 bonus this is the second scenario what if you fail so what if you fail so everyone are not equal you might have some problems due to some reasons if they fail in their primer exam at that is tj exam at final so you'll be having an another attempt so there are total three attempts so the first one if you fail the second and third attempt will be like this as you can see here there will be primers and techgenics so total for 40 marks 60 minutes exam so they will be having two techgenics that is rt1 or rt2 there are two attempts so as you can see primers and techgenics total they will be giving 20 marks for primers and 20 marks for techgenics total 60 minutes in this you need to get your 60 percentage to clear it so i hope this is clear and remember if you fail in the first attempt for the second attempt even though if you get 80 or 90 or 100 percent you will not be eligible for 10,000 bonus so this is very important so i hope you got all your doubts cleared related to accenture primer exam if you still have any doubts please drop down in the comment section i will get back to you as soon as possible and please don't forget to follow us on our social media handle that is telegram or instagram i will be giving the links in the description so guys this was all about our today's video if you find our content informative please do share this video as much as possible and stay tuned with our youtube channel thank you